Ladies and gentlemen, let's read Game to the Com video. Business is vi business because in a rather surprising turn of events, NVIDIA are going to be utilizing Samsung rather than TSMC. And why are they going to be doing this? Because Samsung are offering 14nm production sizes rather than the 16nm of TSMC. Now the reason I say surprising is because Samsung and Nvidia have been at each other's throats since late last year. In November time it was um, reported that Nvidia and Samsung are in a fairly hefty legal battle. But just like Apple, who are going to be using Samsung for their A8 processors, um, it seems that NVIDIA as well are bending to Samsung's will. Now we know that, of course, Apple and Samsung aren't exactly on the bestest buddy terms with the iPod, sorry, with the iPhone and with the Galaxy range of phones, causing a lot of controversy on uh, various technology and patent fronts with Samsung, of course, accusing uh, Apple of stealing a part of its technology and vice versa, so it's quite an ongoing battle. But um, Samsung, as I said, are ahead of TSMC. In fact, they're a whole a quarter ahead. And so it means that the 14nm FinFET process from Samsung is going to come into full production, a full quarter of head of TSMC's 16nm process. So that's quite a substantial difference and will mean that NVIDIA, of course, can enter the next generation of GPU development a whole lot sooner than what they could otherwise. And that naturally extends itself to all of NVIDIA's products, especially since, of course, they're focusing a lot on Tegra at the moment and entering further into mobile uh, chipset and development. Naturally, this also means that because process sizes are going to be smaller, not only is power consumption going to be lower as well as heat generation, they're going to be able to stuff a lot more processor cores effectively as well as cache other bits and bobs into the same space, which is pretty awesome. But NVIDIA have also had a few other issues right now, as many of you will be aware, of, starting from the GTX 970. When that was card was first released, press... Um, their PR divisions released specifications to all of these various tech websites and said hey these are the specifications of the card and then they subsequently put those specifications on the back of the card put them on various product listings for example Amazon or OC UK if you live in the United Kingdom and so on and so forth and now of course we consumers have found out this isn't 100% true the reason I bring this up is because Despite the fact that this is pretty good news from NVIDIA's part, the consumer confidence has been somewhat shaken. And it's not necessarily 100% accurate that the best GPU in terms of raw performance is going to win out. I think NVIDIA would definitely still going to have to make a bit of an amends to gamers. Um, and a lot of gamers are still waiting for NVIDIA to make a statement or to formally really kind of make some amends, maybe give some, get some games away, offer an upgrade solution or something. Now, what GPUs these are going to be um, functioning with, obviously, we've got Maxwell out at the moment, and we know that NVIDIA are working on other technologies, so it's going to be a very interesting time in the tech industry, as you would expect, and of course, we're still waiting for AMD. AMD, of course, are still using TSMC. Are and are in the process of also trying to shrink its own manufacturing sizes down. So it's it's going to be pretty interesting. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the relatively short video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.